This is the ultimate camera test of Samsung Galaxy S21 versus Samsung Galaxy A54. The older flagship versus the newer mid-range. Who will win? Let's find out. First, let's talk about the colors and saturation of both phones. There's a gap of two years, but there's also a difference in value because Samsung Galaxy S21 is a flagship phone and Samsung Galaxy A54 is a mid-range Samsung phone. And here we will be able to determine if it's worth to buy the new mid-range phone or stick to the older flagship phone if possible. The older Samsung Galaxy S21 has a more vivid feel to the photos. Same looking as Galaxy A54, but a bit warmer and more saturated. Looking quickly at the hardware specification, S21 has a triple camera setup with 12 megapixel main sensor. It has dual pixel face detection, autofocus, and OIS. It has a huge 64 megapixel telephoto with 1.1 times zoom and 3 times hybrid zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide with super steady video. And comparing it with the newest mid range Galaxy A54, it has 50 megapixel main sensor with face detection, autofocus, and OIS, a regular 12 megapixel ultra wide, and a 5 megapixel macro sensor. Both phones will produce the same looking photos, again just a slightly different color profile, but a typical Samsung colors. On these tests, both phones are set to automatic or scene optimizer on, so they should output similar looking images. I guess the only difference on the colors is the white balance and looking at the telephoto zoom in digital crop, you will see that there's a loss of image quality on Galaxy A54 because it doesn't have a telephoto zoom. In terms of resolution, the Samsung Galaxy A54 can max out at UHD 30fps, while the older Samsung Galaxy S21 can max out at 8K 24fps. This is the super steady mode and both phones can shoot full HD 30fps and the stabilization is pretty awesome. This is the side-by-side -side slow motion test and both phones perform really well and in good lighting condition, there's minimal noise on both phones. This is the super slow motion and both phones can freeze time. Let's talk about flaring and both of these phones are managing it really well. Samsung Galaxy S21 is managing it really well on ultra wide, while Samsung Galaxy A54 is doing better on the main sensor. But if you don't nitpick, both of these phones are doing very good. And speaking of flaring and stronger light source, if you check the highlights, it's the same story, both of them will manage it really well. Looking outside the window, you can still see the umbrella and the fence, although this is around lunchtime where the sun is on its brightest. And if we talk about the exposure on darker areas, looking underneath this table, you can see that both of them exposes the chairs really well. Just a difference in white balance, I think it's a little bit warmer on Samsung Galaxy S21 and cooler tone on Samsung Galaxy A54. The biggest advantage of the mid-range Samsung Galaxy A54 is the dedicated macro sensor. It is a 5 megapixel macro sensor that can shoot close-up shots. While the trade-off of Samsung Galaxy S21 is the optical zoom, which isn't really better because it's only 1.1 times optical zoom. Talking about sharpness starting with the ultra-wide, I think Samsung Galaxy S21 is performing better than Samsung Galaxy A54. But like the flaring, Samsung Galaxy A54 is performing better on the main sensor, as you can see more detailed on the 50 megapixel main sensor. Galaxy S21 has 3 times hybrid zoom and comparing it with a digital crop of A54, I feel like the mid-range phone is performing better in terms of contrast. But in terms of maximum digital crop, Samsung Galaxy S21 can extend up to 30 times compared to the 10 times of A54. It's 3 times the zoom on the old flagship. And talking about details, a 12 megapixel image looks good on both phones, but if you look on the largest resolution, Galaxy A54 uses the main 50 megapixel sensor while the older Samsung Galaxy S21 is using the 64 megapixel telephoto, but the images on both phones looks really good. Let's dive in into the video test. First, I will show you the raw footages of both phones in 4K 30fps and then the video stabilization test. Oh! 
This is the side-by-side -side video stabilization test using the ultra-wide lens and the older Samsung Galaxy S21 is wiggling a bit. And this is the video stabilization of the main sensor and still, Samsung Galaxy S21 is jerking a bit but I'm totally just nitpicking. And let's also not forget the selfie video recording 4K 30fps and both phones are good on video stabilization but you can see that Samsung Galaxy S21 is sharper than Samsung Galaxy A54. This is the battle of the old flagship versus the new mid-range. Samsung Galaxy S21 is a really solid smartphone back in 2021. It has Snapdragon 888 with 8 gigs of RAM. And if you need a really good phone in terms of speed, I would likely buy this phone over A54. It also has the reverse wireless charging and support for Samsung DeX. While the new mid-range Samsung Galaxy A54 is a really good choice for anyone who wants to buy a new Samsung phone, that will last a very long time because of the 5-year software support and a beefy 5000mAh battery. Also, the design of the camera looks like the Samsung Galaxy S23 series. And you may find these two phones with similar price tag, but the question today here is, will you go for the older flagship or the new mid-range? Let's talk about portrait mode and there are good and bad things about these two phones. Let's start with the latest and newest Samsung Galaxy A54. The newest Samsung mid-range phones provide more detailed portrait mode and you will see this on subject's face. There's a lot of details and someone who wants to see more details on the photo like the facial hair and skin pigmentation, Galaxy A54 is a good choice. I also noticed creamier background blur on Samsung Galaxy A54 although you can always adjust it in post but one thing I like about this phone is it refocuses the subject so if you're holding a monopod you can trigger the timer and Samsung Galaxy A54 will refocus the subject. And still in the conversation of background blur, Samsung Galaxy S21 has better cutout separation than Galaxy A54. You would see this on the shoulders and the hair. S21 is better. I feel like the warmer looking Samsung Galaxy S21 is still a better choice in terms of portrait mode. It makes the image more lively compared to the dull looking A54. In some shots where there's direct light, sometimes A54 will wash out the photo. It also gives a little bit of filter on the face, so it looks nicer and generally the colors are brighter and more saturated on the flagship S21. S21 also has a better contrast and the mid-range Galaxy A54 is brighter. You could see this on the hair on the subject. On the selfie camera, I think Galaxy A54 is a little bit warmer than S21, but both phones can shoot wide and ultra-wide portrait for group shots. Night shot is a little bit inconsistent on both phones. On some shots, Galaxy S21 is brighter than Galaxy A54 or sometimes vice versa. Like on this image, you would see that Galaxy A54 exposes the scene better. You can still see the fence and the grass. But switching to another area, it's totally different look. Galaxy S21 is brighter and exposes the house better. I think the newer Samsung phones now are implementing darker night shots but in return will have more details and better colors. While the older Samsung phones will try to brighten up the image so you can see the scene better, sometimes it looks artificial but it works if you need to capture more information on darker environment. So I guess it's just a question of do you want a brighter night shots or a better contrast and colored night shots. And since we're shooting night shots, let's check the low light video capability of both phones and the older Samsung Galaxy S21 although flagship is noisier than Samsung Galaxy A54. Take a look. So this is the ultimate camera comparison video of Samsung Galaxy S21 versus Samsung Galaxy A54. Two great value phones this year if you need an 8K video recording, sharper selfie video, good looking portrait mode and a better performing Snapdragon 888. I would go with Samsung Galaxy S21. But if you like to shoot macro, a bit better video stabilization, natural looking portrait mode, and better low light video performance, also including longer updates and better battery life, I would go with the newest mid range, Samsung Galaxy A54. And there you go. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll continue to compare these two phones in our channel. Maybe the next Samsung Galaxy S23 Fan Edition, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.